Hey, Scorpio. This is Stark. Happy New Year to you guys. Okay, so we're going to do a whole story reading for January 2021, but it's actually going to be for January and beyond, okay? So this is one of those readings that you may want to refer back to as the year uh, goes on. Um, a lot of the things may not make sense right today, <laughs> but, um, but like I said, these are things that may be playing out for you. Now, this is a general reading, so some of these messages may resonate you, others may not. So just take it as it resonates and... We will start shuffling. If you guys, I'm actually going to, I said I was going to put a timestamp on the cancer reading and I forgot all about it, but I'm going to put a timestamp on this so that you don't have to sit through, you know, all the shuffling and the placing of the cards. I know it takes a bit to do that. So um, just fast forward if you want to at the beginning of, to the beginning of the reading. All right. I just like to shuffle, you know, in front of the camera so that you guys know that I'm not breaking the cards. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. The whole story reading is where I go through the entire deck. All righty. All right, let's get started, Scorpio. Let's see what you have going on for January 2021 and beyond. Okay, so I feel like you guys are taking action, possibly in a new direction, um, but you are, I feel like you were in a situation that didn't feel stable to you, it didn't feel like it was going to be long term or that it was even healthy for you anymore, but you felt stuck in the past, you felt stuck in that situation and I do feel that you guys are ready to make a choice and a decision to move in a different direction in life. Okay, let's see. Yes. All right. Bear with me while I get all the cards out. Like I said, you can fast forward to the beginning of the reading. I will be putting a timestamp in the description box below. I feel here that the theme for you, Scorpio, is um, there seems to be like you're coming out of a period where you felt either like abandoned, um, you, you felt a sense of lack in your life in general. And I think this is a time when you're going to say enough is enough and you're going to make things happen for yourself. Um, I do see that you've had uh, some time of feeling not victorious, you know, feeling like you can't catch a break. But um, I just see endings and new beginnings here for you, which is, you know, what Scorpio is about. So it's right up your alley. Let's see. Okay. And again, I see a new beginning, but I kind of feel as though you're starting on your own I, I get this feeling like you were surrounded by other people you may be letting go of people is what i'm trying to say um yeah so let's put this here okay let me just start off by just looking at the cards as they are without the clarifiers but yeah i feel like you're wanting to get yourself out of feeling sorry for yourself feeling the victim of circumstances and i think you're you're getting ready to just Take the bull by the horns and take your life into the direction that you really want it to go. You're ready for a transformation. You're ready to move on, um, I feel, from the past, from ties from the past especially. So those of you who may, it's almost as if you had already been established in a particular place or um, even career or a family, but it was just not doing it for you and you've realized that and you're ready to move forward is what I'm seeing here. You're ready to get unstuck. You're ready to feel love again. Even if it, if this is not like romantic, but I feel like you want to be surrounded by other people. You're tired of being alone in isolation. 
but I'm definitely, definitely seeing here a new beginning, um, but very much all, it's either all about you, this new beginning, or you're just going off on your own in a whole new different direction. And I see you letting go of people from your past. So let's start clarifying here. Yeah, I, I, I feel as though, interesting, okay. You're going to be letting people know how you feel about situations, about them. Um, I feel you've uh, really thought about, you know, what direction you want to take your life. You have spent a long time thinking about this and what is best for you, what is best for your family, the people that you care about. And you have come to some conclusions here. Um, I... I <laughs> I'm getting the sense that you have like choice words for certain people in your life. So for some people you have um, things that you need to get off your chest that you need to say. Not very nice things though, I, I have to say. There's somebody in your life that it's like you have to let them know that they're no good in your life. You know, it's not necessarily that they're, they're, they themselves are a bad person, but that the two of you just do not mix. Okay, so I get that. I get like the, the, the letting go of repression of feelings and emotions. And it can be, like I said, in, in a bad way, in a sense, like there's things that you have to say something to someone that are not very nice. But I also feel that there's, there's feelings, there's like sweet feelings that you need to express as well. Interesting. Okay. So for some of you Scorpios, I feel like you had invested in a, uh, I feel as though this is more so for like the male Scorpio. So male Scorpios, I feel as though you have been with a, a, a particular female mother, mother figure. I feel this could be a wife or just someone that, um, you really thought very highly of okay they 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 were a very important person in your life but there's a, a a sense here that you no longer have passion for this person whatever time and energy you have put into that relationship it's been sort of a disappointment for you um and again this is one of those relationships that you're ready to let go of i do feel as though some of you may have been ill uh you know like physically ill or um or just even depressed okay but i'm seeing someone here with a lack of ambition um feelings of unworthiness uh, very much picking that up as depression here in, in in many cases that kind of debilitated you or somebody very important around you for some time but i see you coming out of that and as you come out of that look at this we have the knight of cups here twice right next to each other so five of cups in reverse with the knight of cups and then the knight of cups right next to it clarified by the three of pentacles in reverse oh interesting okay so hmm let me see here uh huh okay Wow, the magician we got here. Magician in reverse clarified by the magician in reverse. So what a strong message there. Um, yeah, I, I'm picking up very strongly and actually a very strong fire sign. Okay, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Although I don't like to read signs when I'm doing the whole story reading. But it's coming up here so strongly that I feel like for a lot of you that's going to be relevant. Um, a particular fire sign here that... Um, maybe in the past you were holding back on moving on from this person, but I think you're gathering the strength, um, to just let it be, you know, to, to, to let this situation end. Cause I, I, I feel as though you've tried to make it work. You've tried to maintain joy in this particular connection and nothing that you do really, it's just, it's not changing things. And I, I feel as though there is, however, a connection here. You may have been involved with two people because I feel as though there's like third party energy and it, it doesn't necessarily have to mean like romantic, but there is, it's almost as though, okay, so I'll just throw out an example. Let's say you were married, okay, but 
for some reason your family meaning like let's say your parents didn't get along with your spouse or something like that and that's been something that's been a theme in your life for some time um, and the relationship between you and your spouse may not have been working out so now it's like you can go back to like your family where you can find comfort in them um, but there's a there's a sense here that there were other parties now of course it can be a, a romantic relationship so perhaps maybe you were interested in somebody else or you had feelings for someone else but you were already married or something like that I, i'm seeing a few different scenarios here but the, the the gist of it is there were external factors <coughs> that affected a relationship between you and another person and i'm feeling here you separating from one of those people and gravitating toward another you know another person or another group of people but definitely a new beginning happening here you're moving on and look at that six of swords clarified by the nine of pentacles that's moving on by yourself alone I've, I've been picking that up since we started the reading so i do feel like this year is going to be very much centered on yourself scorpio on you know like maybe even recreating yourself because i'm seeing here you have been bogged down by uh, responsibilities, bills, um, mortgages, children, you know, just things that you had to do that had been holding you back because you want to do the right thing. Um, and you're very much afraid of failure. Uh, failure is not something that you want to <laughs> expose yourself to. How interesting. A lot of these cards are coinciding. They're kind of almost telling the same story here. It's like you know exactly. <clears throat> I feel as though you're at a crossroads right now. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. You're at a crossroads right now where you're, you're about to take your life in a different direction. And you know that probably the easiest thing to do is to just continue on in the same direction that you've been going in. Um, in spite of the fact that you're obviously very much not satisfied or emotionally fulfilled in this situation. However, you have full awareness now. I feel like you've given yourself plenty, plenty of time to do a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching. And it's very clear to you that if you stay on this particular path that you are currently on, it's going to lead to failure. It, or, or a failure in the sense that you're it's not leading you towards happiness and to me that is failure everybody has their own um you know definition of what failure may be for other people it's very much tangible and material um for me it's just how happy you actually are and that's what i'm seeing is that you are not happy in your current path it's easier to stay on it um because it, it's just the path of least resistance but I have a feeling that you're going to choose otherwise. Yeah, there's a very, very, very difficult decision here, but it's at a very pivotal point. The fives are about, you know, when you're feeling like challenged, conflicted, but it's, it's a point in which it's a point in which you make the decision to either progress or you get stuck in that five energy, which is a very challenging sort of energy. Um, and I'm feeling here a difficult decision for some of you with that justice card um, clarified here right in the smack dab in the middle. Um, <clears throat> this may very well be talking about like legal issues. So some of you may actually be getting divorced. Um, yeah, yeah. But see, I, 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 I'm just getting here that you've been sort of stuck for so long that once once you make that choice, it's going to be pretty fast. Like the change is going to be pretty fast and you're going to feel happy again pretty quickly. Okay. It's just a matter, you know, what I'm getting here is that I feel a lot of the, um, the reason why you've held back in, in doing what you truly want to do. I feel it's like it has to do again with third party energy and, and, and I'm going to say again, it doesn't have to be like another romantic party, but it's definitely like you're afraid of what people around you are going to think or say or feel as a result of your decisions that are mostly based on 
um, you know, where your happiness lies. It's almost as though you feel, you may feel guilty, you know, for thinking of yourself first, but sometimes when we think of ourselves first and we search for our own happiness or our own inner peace, the people that matter around us tend to be happy in knowing that. So it's kind of like everything kind of fixes itself in a way. Let's see here. Yeah, it, there, there's some sort of action that is um, needing to be taken here that you know logically this is the best thing for you is to, to make this change. It's not something that you're excited to do per se because it is going to be difficult to like face these situations. These are difficult situations to face. But I do think that you're ready. We have the Wheel of Fortune here with the Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're not letting anyone... Remember, we talked about the fives, right? So five of wands in reverse. You're not letting anyone interfere with this progress that you're about to make this year, Scorpio. The emperor. Yeah, you see, you're taking charge in these areas where you don't feel successful, you don't feel happy, you don't feel accomplished. You are going to be taking charge here because you see that you've been missing out on opportunities and you're ready to choose an opportunity. You're ready to choose yourself. But first you have to put down that burden, that Ten of Wands, in order to have this opportunity be opened up to you. It's really yourself who is standing in the way. Ten of Swords in reverse. Um, interesting. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just, I keep picking up um, with this pentacle energy. I just keep picking up on like situations that, again, that you've invested heavily in, that you've spent time in. So this could be representative of a, a relationship, perhaps um, even a career where, again, you, you know that you're not, you're not finding your sense of success there, whatever that may be. Um, and I feel as though these feelings are coming out, like you can't repress them anymore. There's been a sense of like a re repressed feelings. Um, but you are now, you know, entertaining the thought of a total radical change in your life. Wow, look at this. We have the star card clarified by the nine of cups. So two cards about wish fulfillment. And that's where your mindset is going to be this year, Scorpio. Yeah, see the king of cups clarified, which I'm getting is your energy, this king of cups here. It's clarified by the five of swords in reverse. Again, another five. So you're avoiding any drama, any obstacles, any challenges to your progress and your happiness. It's not going to go this year. Um, it may have in the past, there may have been people who may have been able to possibly manipulate you into doing things, guilt trip you into doing things. None of that is going to work this year. I think your mindset is totally changed. Um, and you're, you're willing to go at this alone is, is what I'm getting here. You know that there, in order for you to fully heal, I feel like you instinctively know that you need to be separated from a situation. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's almost as though you need to find yourself. Yeah, okay. So, uh, interesting. So here we have, again, the Nine of Pentacles, which in this deck here, I don't know if you could see that, but it's it's called Self-Sufficiency. And it's clarified by your card, Scorpio, the Death card in reverse. So that is all that has been stopping you. And I, I uh, the with the Fool card right next to that and, and the High Priestess, it's like your intuition is screaming at you that this new beginning is something that you absolutely need in order to find, I'm getting like your, the new you, right? So you've outgrown certain patterns that you've lived through and now you're ready to go out on your own and find yourself again, this new person that is being um, reborn. Seven of Wands in reverse with the Queen of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, giving up on um, 
emotions that just no longer serve you and we have that queen of cups there as well you see the ten of swords in reverse you've been in some pain for some time scorpio and you're ready to let it go um again you see these responsibilities remember i kept picking up responsibilities with those um earth earth energy cards uh with the six of cups responsibilities that you had acquired from the past i feel as though kind of a strong energy here of this being like a family or um, a, a marriage yeah yeah see this is like uh, you'd rather be alone the hermit card than be all stressed out and accompanied by these people that you've been carrying along with for some time you're ready to let them go that's what i'm seeing here scorpio so a whole new life for you it seems is opening up in 2021 um, it, it feels a little scary, I think more so for others than for yourself. I don't, I don't think you doubt yourself, your ability to, to be reborn, because like I said, you are a Scorpio and that is your thing. But, um, I do feel as though whatever concern you have is more so geared toward other people, like your, your desire to not disappoint or hurt anyone in this process that you know you need to do, because I do feel as though you have put this off for long enough. All right, let's continue and see. What are the messages we have for Scorpio? January 2021 and beyond. I hope you guys had a great holiday. I did, I know. I got a lot of rest and spent a lot of time with family, so. All right, let's see here. Oh, wow. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing here, you've been involved in, in a relationship perhaps that where there was a lot of lies or hidden truths, okay? Because it, it doesn't always necessarily have to mean lies. It's not necessarily a lie, but there's definitely been some sort of emotion that has been repressed. This could be, you know, simply you outgrew a relationship and you were afraid to express that, that you didn't feel the same about someone. But I'm seeing that here as a scenario, so that may apply to you. You've lost passion for someone. There's nothing stopping you right now, not even yourself this year. I think last year, um, it, it was just you <laughs> stopping your progress because you, maybe you didn't feel it was the right time. Maybe you just didn't feel prepared, whatever the case was, but okay, let's see. Let's clarify. Okay. So yeah, let's see here. Oh, um, I, I, I took the wrong one. Sorry. What am I thinking here? <laughs> I'm like, those cards look familiar. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so um, something is definitely going to come out in, in the open. I see a revelation of truth happening here. Something that was hidden. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords here with that Lover's card. So 
This could just be talking about a decision that you had obviously been thinking a lot about for some time and you just haven't been, you haven't had like the courage to, to just say it out loud and say, hey, you know what, I decided I'm going to take my life in a new direction. You haven't been wanting to express that. But I see that coming out. Um, it could very well be either like Pisces season or Cancer season. For some reason, I'm, I, I feel like that's relevant there um, for some of you. For others, possibly not. But um, basically what I see here is, is a decision to communicate a truth. And I do feel like this is going to be healing, although it seems painful. Um, but in a way, it, it, you know, once you get it out, because you're already, if this is a relationship that you're going through that you know you haven't been happy in, the relationship has been painful <laughs> already, you know, so it's not like you're causing new pain. This is actually um, sort of setting a marker for, for the moment that you can start healing or the other person, you know, however that is. Because I, I actually feel as though you, you may have already healed from that relationship or that situation that didn't work out and that's why you're ready to move on. You don't want to continue being in that situation anymore, um, prolonging this hurt and pain and sadness. You just want to be able to move on and, and, and really heal by living your life as, as you want to live it. But yeah, this is, I, I kind of feel as though someone or you, um, you are letting someone know, you decide to let someone know that something is not working out, that you've made a decision for yourself to let let something go that you've been holding on to for so very long. But I definitely see an ending here because um, that connection that you are involved in is not, is not balanced, okay? So maybe one of you wants to stay in it more so than the other. Um, you know, you're just at different stages in healing. So the other person may not have given up yet. I see you giving up and wanting to move forward. Um, yeah, yeah. And this is something that you've been, again, repressing. You've been holding this back. I'm seeing cancer as, as a, an indicator here. So cancer season may be very um, eventful, an eventful time for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, you've been stuck in a relationship where maybe this other person really um, loved you in the way that you wanted to be loved, but your feelings were not reciprocated. There's a lack of reciprocation here. So uh, however that resonates for you, um, I just feel that one person has more emotion than the other. So whoever, wh wh whichever side you're on, but I'm seeing here a letting go of um established connections or you know whatever this uh, could if it's a career that you want to let go of and and choose to go in another direction then that's what's going to open you up for new opportunities yeah Yeah, I mean, it really just comes down to courage. I'll be honest with you. It really just comes down to having the courage to do this because it, it, you want to. <laughs> that That's just plain and simple. I'm seeing you want to. I'm also seeing here that um, I have to say, like, I feel like you're, you're, your emotions are invested elsewhere, but it's not with the person that you're currently with, Scorpio. Um, and so this lack of passion, I feel like whatever sadness was, um, you know, that you had felt for this relationship that you were involved in, whatever sadness was there was, it, it kind of, it's not even sadness anymore because you've just completely lost passion altogether. So it's almost as though you're numb and the other person does still have a lot of emotion for you. Like I, I just keep feeling that. Yeah. Yeah. 
you're headed to a, a new cycle in life. Um, but it's, it, it's really just whether or not you're ready to make that decision. I, I think the decision will lie in you, Scorpio, because like I said, I have this feeling if you're waiting for the other person to make this choice so that it's easier, I don't see that happening because I feel like this other person still has a lot of emotion for you. Whereas, like I said, you are more so numb. Um, you're more afraid of like the, the, um, circumstances, the aftermath of a, a potential breakup, what, what's going to happen then, how are, how are others going to be affected and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. You see, this devil card here, the nine of wands in reverse. I have to say, um, I feel like you're going to be met with a lot of resistance and not even just resistance like somebody almost begging you to stay because I, 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 that is possible that someone's going to beg you to stay and not, not move forward in life. But I feel even more so like someone is trying to... I guess manipulation is the word, but it but it, it goes deeper than that. It's a little bit darker, it feels. Um, someone does want to deviate you from this path, and it's very possible that they may be successful at it, um, but just know that if you allow for this person to manipulate or pressure you into doing something that you don't necessarily, or that you know your intuition is telling you is not to your benefit. You're just going to stay in that. You're going to go back to that depressed um, way of being that you were before. Yeah. I am just picking up on this over here where I said there was something hidden. Okay. All this is all that's holding you back. If you just allow yourself Scorpio to be completely honest and just lay it all out on the table, I don't think anyone's going to be able to reel you back in. Once it's all out, you can't get it back. Um, and so that's really what I'm seeing is the, that, that deciding factor. If you open yourself up and just say, you know what, I'm done here. I'm just going to say how exactly how I feel, regardless of the consequence. I, I, I feel like there will be no taking it back, this person, no matter what they do at that point. But if you just repress these feelings, um, this person has a hold on you somehow, somehow, some way. Maybe it's through children or responsibilities because I keep getting responsibilities. So for you, for some of you, this could be like what's holding you back may very well be responsibilities with regards to children or just simply somebody has a hold of you um, financially. Okay, so if this is like a business, maybe you have a business with someone you want to get out of it and just go off on your own. Maybe this is not romantic at all. <clears throat> but um, this person may have, you know, some sort of financial obligation that they could use against you. And that's why, you know, I feel like it's really important to get your, your, um, your plans out in the open. But when you're truly ready to, to move forward with them and there's nothing that anybody else can do, I feel like once you get going, that's it. You're gone. Like there's no holding you back, but there, there, there is like a pivotal moment there where if you don't, if you don't truly express how serious you are about this, then this person may use like guilt tripping against you or, or something of that nature. Let me get a couple of, um, angel answer cards for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? January, 2021 and beyond. What do they need to know? Messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know?
Okay, yeah, look, we have <clears throat> ask for help from others and be assertive. So yeah, this is the time to really get your intention out there. Let people know that you mean business. You are done. Reconsider, compromise, wait. I really feel... You see how this these three cards here have such a like a different feel to them and I, I i get the sense that you know you've been stuck in this um in this sort of mode of trying to please everyone or do whatever is best for everyone and you know as a collective and by everyone maybe i mean like your family um you don't want to hurt anyone or or uh cause them any grief and so that in particular is what this other person has over you because they know that they can use this to their advantage to make you reconsider, to make you wait, to make you not take action. But the cards that actually came out for you is to be assertive. Take that action that you know is for your greatest good and maybe ask for help from others. You know, ask for people to help you through, to, to support you through in this um in this new stage of life because that's what you're going into scorpio so that's your reading i hope that you enjoyed and i'll see you guys very soon bye, -bye.